Welcome to Tabletop Ready, my name is Michael and in this video I'm going to show you how to paint your Blood Angels. I'm going to show you step by step how to paint every metal red armour, as well as how to go about painting the different coloured helmets and much more. If you want to know how I get my miniatures ready for painting, make sure to go check out my dedicated video where I show you, and I'll put all the paints and brushes I use for this tutorial in the description below. I have left some parts separate to make painting easier and I've chosen to undercoat the miniature with some Mephiston Red Spray Undercoat. And with that done, we can get started. The first thing we want to do is paint the red of the Blood Angel's armour, and you may think having undercoated Mephiston Red was enough, but for me Mephiston Red is quite a dark red for what I think Blood Angel's armour should be. So I'm actually going to start by painting the armour with Evelson Scarlet which I think matches my idea of what Blood Angel's red should actually be. Whenever you're painting, it's always a good idea to thin your paints first, and I find an equal amount of water does the trick. And make sure to keep your brush moving and try not to go over any areas you've already painted to prevent creating any texture whilst the paint is drying. Also, I like to use a large base brush when painting flatter areas as it gives more coverage and spreads out the pigment more evenly, giving us a nicer finish when dried. The next thing we want to do before working on the actual armour is to paint all the armour joints. It's better to do this now so we don't have to worry about being messy and ruining any work we may have already done. To paint the joints I'm using a bad and black, and then some Evos and Scarlet to clean up any mess made whilst doing that. With that done let's get some definition on the armour with a recess shade. A recess shade is done by painting a darker shade or colour directly into the recesses and shallow details of a miniature. This allows us to create that definition without affecting the main colour too much. For the recess shade on our Blood Angel I'm using Norn Oil and I find using a glaze brush is perfect for the job. It gives us more control as we don't have to worry about overloading the brush with shade and it's able to get into smaller details that can be difficult for a larger brush. Again, you can always neaten up any mistakes as we go along with Evelson Scarlet. Nobody is perfect. I now want to spend more time going through the process of highlighting. I want to do this because highlighting for me has to be one of the techniques that if you can do well, you can paint anything. Before you even start, it's worth having a good quality brush which you can get a nice point with. I would even keep a brush separate just for highlighting miniatures like I do. You want to also think about the consistency of the paint. I don't tend to use as much water as I normally would, as this is going to help give us that strong colour without multiple passes we would normally need to do when layering. It's also a good idea to remove some of the paint from the brush onto some kitchen paper first, which is going to help prevent those thick blobby lines. The first highlight I'm going to show you is a chunky highlight, and I'm using an equal mix of both Evil Sun Scarlet and Wild Rider Red. Go around all the panel edges and I'm almost using the side of my brush for this highlight to get the thickness I'm after. And this is going to help soften and bring out the next highlight we do. It's also going to help with defining the shape of those armour panels. The next highlight I'm going to show you is the fine highlight. I'm using Wild Rider Red and this highlight is going to bring out all those sharp edges making them really stand out. For a lot of the highlights you can use the edge of your brush and run it along that edge to create the highlight making it a lot easier. For the areas you can't do this, just take your time and paint a thin line along those details to create the highlight. This is probably the trickiest and most time consuming part of painting a space marine, but it just takes some practice and the more you do, the better your hand-eye coordination will get, making you a better painter overall. I'm going to finish off the highlights with a spot highlight, and I'm using Jokero Orange for this. Using the same techniques I've already shown you, pick out some of the more prominent edges and corners of the armour. Once you've finished all your highlighting, you'll be able to see what a massive difference it makes and the time spent doing it is worth the effort. It's now time to work on all the other details of our Blood Angel. Let's get all the silver details painted using some iron hand steel and the gold details using Retributor armour first of all. We then want to give these areas a wash and I'm using Norn Oil for the silver and Reichland Flesh Shade for the gold. We can now highlight both of the silver and gold details using Stormhose Silver. The next details I want to show you how to paint are all going to be black. 
Along with the joints we've already done, paint any pouches, belts and the chest decoration with a bad and black, making sure we get a nice solid colour. We now want to paint a chunky highlight with eshing grey on all these details and then give them a fine highlight using Dawnstone to finish. You can go a little bit further with the leather details by painting little scratches and marks given that cracked worn aesthetic leather tends to have. For the bolter, again start with some abad and black. A chunky highlight can be painted using Dark Reaper this time, but still using Dawnstone for our fine highlight on the casing. The helmets of the Blood Angels are salt and heavy units are painted differently. Assault units have yellow helmets, and the heavy units you will see with blue helmets. To paint the yellow helmets, start with some Avalon Sunset. Now layer up the yellow with the Oriole Yellow. Reichland Flesh Shade is then used for a recess shade. And finish the helmet with an edge highlight of Dawn Yellow. For the blue helmets, start with some Crag Blue. Next, recess shade the helmet using Norn Oil. Now paint a chunky highlight with an equal mix of Macrag Blue and Calgar Blue and finish off with an edge highlight using Calgar Blue. You'll also want to paint the lenses of the helmets, so let's finish up by me showing you how to do that. Start by painting the lenses with the Caliban Green, then paint a thin line using Moot Green on the bottom of each lens. Then finish each lens with a dot of white scar in the top right corner. Our Blood Angel is now finished and I hope I've been able to give you the confidence and knowledge to get your own painted. If you want to see how I do my transfers, go check out the video where I'll show you. And I've also made a tutorial on how to paint Ultramarines as well. I really hope you found the tutorial useful. If you did, make sure to give the video a like and let me know in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on future content and I'll see you in the next video.